Hey, welcome to the show, everybody. Today we got a very special treat for you. I have my friend Bradley Crianzo, VHS enthusiast and fellow filmmaker here on the show with me tonight. Welcome, Brad. Thank you. Glad to be here. So we're actually here at Brad's VHS store that he bought out here in this beautiful facility. In the shadow smoke of the street, I can hear the pounding of a bear beat. Awake from sleep in the dead of night, with the demon's eyes burning bright. As I feel the chill down my spine, I step across the borderline. Yeah. Well, it's more than just a store. We're talking about over 23, 24 years of collecting. Nice. And I mean, all over the place. Now, I believe Brad pretty much bought out a Blockbuster or a West Coast Video or something. Uh, Palmer Video, actually in Kenilworth. Mm -hmm. uh, Blockbuster is where I got the gumball machine over there. Okay. A um, couple other video stores, West Coast Video, another Blockbuster or two. But a, a lot of the titles actually in the store were for me collecting since I was a kid. Nice. And um, I think I noticed they're all in alphabetical order as well as um, subject category. They are in order by genre and alphabetically. You got horror, uh, action, comedy, triple uh, X, porn films. Everyone likes that. Anything that you want pretty much is here in order. Girls make the money, right? Oh, yeah. That they do. Now, how long did it take you to organize everything by genre and by alphabet? We're talking about at least a month. Just being down here almost eight hours a day at least. Maybe even a little more, but a month is about the... So a month, but all in one patch or spread out throughout a couple of Spread months? out. Each night was almost a different category. So the horror section is the biggest that I have. So yeah. the horror section alone took me, I think, five to seven days just to catalog that one section. Well, I think when you go to conventions and like, you know, uh, horror conventions and VHS and vinyl, the, 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 um, the horror tapes are the ones that actually retain the collectability and value. Yes, the value in the horror movies, that's where most of it's at. Everybody wants the big box, you know, rabid or deadly games i may not be the best popular one but for an example they want silent night deadly night all this stuff that used to be big back in the 80s and you would see on display in the video store and of course it would be memorable because it was in such a big box you couldn't help but you know notice it back yeah. then like i have creature from the black lagoon i mean that's a little more of an old-timey flick but you know watching movies like that in hd and super clarity it just doesn't make sense a little bit of grit and grain gives the aesthetic. Mm -hmm. And the oldies are goodies. I mean, you can never deny that. The Wolfman, Dracula, all the classics, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman. That's the kind of stuff that's never going to die. And in my video store here, I have every title you could think of. Now, say someone wants to come and check out or rent one of these videos. Is that a possibility to come to your store and uh, do that? Or is that a private collection? It's a private collection, but I do make special concessions for people who are looking for titles. So if somebody wants to get a title, I give them two options. They can get it on DVD or they can get a digital file. Mm -hmm. So it's not out of the realm of possibility that I'm, you know, renting in a way. So you're, you're more like a custodian of history. You're, you're here as a, as a physical archive. Mm hmm. Pretty much. And I also do video transfers for other people. There's folks who still have Betamax tapes and Laserdisc, things that they can't get onto DVD and VHS. So I do a transfer service at the same time. So if there's a title they're looking for and something that they have, it's sort of like a two for one deal. They can come in and I'll, you know, transfer what they have and they'll two walk away with something gotcha. too. Nice. And uh, maybe a little gumball on the way out too. Oh yeah. Gumballs, <laughs> hey, for a quarter, you can still get yourself a great gumball. Nice. You leave with a smile. <laughs> Always. Tonight. 